My name is Dr. Ryan Nunley. I'm an associate professor of orthopedic surgery at Washington University in St. Louis, Missouri. So one of my interests clinically is improving the outcomes of wounds after orthopedic procedures, specifically hip and knee replacement. As part of that, uh, I've been sponsored by Johnson & Johnson uh, Ethicon to come and uh, give uh, examples of my process and how we've started to look at this in our own institution to improve outcomes and to teach it to other surgeons around the country and around the world. So one of the biggest challenges with joint replacement surgery across the world is infection. It's one thing that we've not been able to eliminate. I think that there are certain institutions that have centers for excellence that have been able to reduce this risk, but if you're a patient or a family member of a patient who's had an infection, it's a devastating problem. Most of us have uh, continued to do wound closure in the way in which we were trained during medical school or residency. And there's innovations that I think are important that we hope to explore to improve this for our patients and their outcomes. So joint replacements are a unique uh, breed in the sense that if there's an infection and you have a big piece of metal uh, implant and any uh, amount of infection gets on there, then it becomes devastating because most of the time these need to be treated with aggressive surgical intervention, many times having to remove all the implants that are in place and then come back at a later date to put in a new implant. So uh, prevention of infection is uh, the key way to address this. It's better to prevent it than it is to deal with it once it occurs. So that's where we look to explore new innovations in technology to be able to reduce the risk of infection on the, the first part of the surgical procedure and the early wound healing. So I think two of the biggest innovations that, w that I've seen uh, both locally in the United States and then internationally will be the type of sutures that we use to close the incisions. Most of us uh, traditionally have used just a regular monofilament suture with uh, uh, interrupted type of suture techniques, but the advent of the barb sutures allows us to do this in a knotless fashion, which is faster surgery time, plus the uh, running nature of the suture that is continuous tension along the joint surface or the skin allows for there to be a prevention of any outflow of fluid from blood or synovial fluid uh, or uh, drainage to the skin, which can re reduce infections. And I think that's uh, really for us the game changer is the knotless technology that affords us that ability to have watertight closure in multiple layers. The second is what we treat the skin surface with. So many people have used skin clips or staples for a long time. These actually reduce blood flow, which can affect the incision healing and can potentiate infection, especially uh, for the fact that it can introduce bacteria around where the staples in, uh, penetrate into the skin. So if we can put a dressing on that's more watertight, that allows patients to get up and be active early, but uh, allows them to take a shower and avoids any contamination from the outside world getting inside the knee, that's an advantage. And that's what we see with the topical adhesives in the uh, mesh type of tape that we now use to cover our incisions. Yeah, so I think uh, when you talk to patients and you ask them about satisfaction with their surgery and the recovery, there's many times in which they're anxious and nervous about the surgery. They know, uh, for example, knee replacement is very painful surgery and it takes a long time to rehab. Well, staples add another layer of anxiety and stress for the patient and their families. Uh, even right after surgery, they can feel the staples. That gives them a feeling uh, that there's something foreign on the surface. And then the uh, dreaded fact that they know the staples will need to come out at a later date. So from a patient satisfaction standpoint, if you don't have staples, if you can do it stapleless surgery, that's an advantage. The second is, uh, many surgeons, if you have staples, will not allow the patients to take a shower uh, and do personal hygiene early. With a adhesive tape and mesh, uh, there's no staples. The patient feels just like there's a thin little bandage over top of their incision, and we allow them to shower right away, which makes them feel norm more normal and has a much higher patient satisfaction. The patients we used to treat with staples, and then we come back to do their second side without staples are much happier.